Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy to see you here today on this fine day. We are going to be talking about mixing kibble and raw together. A very common question that I have been asked for so long and I have yet to actually answer in full. And I do have my own personal opinions on the subject, which I will talk about later on in this video. But in general, I'm going to try to keep it as unbiased and fact-based as possible. Can you safely feed a diet of both kibble and raw simultaneously? Let's find out. Now, I have been kind of avoiding talking about this issue in full because we just don't have all of the information and it really just applies to pretty much everything ferret. We need more studies, more work needs to be done before coming to a firm conclusion. While there is lots of overlap between carnivores like dogs and cats, ferrets are still their own entirely separate species. There are still many details that are only relevant to the ferret. We can't assume at the time that because they do have similarities that absolutely everything can be applied to the ferret as well. I bring this up because dogs are much further evolved. They have somewhat of a better ability to digest most foods than the ferret does. And because of that, many people do believe that feeding raw and kibble together is perfectly fine and safe for the dog. And also some people think this for cats as well. I will link a really great informative article down below that is specifically on cats. So before looking at both sides of this argument, let's take a look at what makes the ferret unique from the cat and the dog. So just like the cat, ferrets are hyper carnivores. They are obligate carnivores, meaning they can only efficiently digest and absorb nutrients from animal-based foods, not plant-based sources. Unlike the dog, who is a faculative carnivore, faculative carnivores can digest some plant matter. So to begin the digestion process, ferrets will crunch and break down the bone and meat tissues ligaments in their mouth with their molars. They do not produce any enzymes that help aid in starch and sugar digestion, making these foods a lot harder for them to digest and utilize. And once the food is in the stomach, it is processed by gastric fluids and it eventually passes to the small intestine where the macronutrients, protein, fat, and carbs are absorbed. When it hits the colon, the water from this digested food is absorbed and the leftovers are fermented. A ton more goes into the digestion process and I really do suggest that you read more into it. This is just an oversimplified explanation. In general, with that information, the ferret's digestive tract is very similar to the dog and the cat. However, dogs do have a enzyme called amylase that is produced in the pancreas to help aid in starch digestion. There are not many studies done on ferret digestion, especially comparing it to other species. There is one that compares digestion of dry foods between ferrets, dogs, and cats and it does state that mustelids have a similar protein digestion to cats and dogs. They're also better at digesting fats than cats. And in the study where they were compared, ferrets had overall lower digestibility values, which may explain why they consumed twice as much food as the other species per kg of body weight. And I have a quote here from that study that says ferrets fed dry kibble diets presented lower DM, NFE, and protein digestibility than dogs and cats. However, ferrets present fat digestibility similar to that of dogs and higher than that of cats. Therefore, to formulate practical diets for ferrets, it's important to consider the quality and amount of protein and the use of fat as an energy source. There are other studies that show that ferrets have a tougher time digesting crude protein compared to cats, most likely due to their tiny GI tract structure and the short intestinal transit time. Overall, it appears that ferrets have a harder time digesting proteins and fats than the dog and the cat. We do know that ferrets are a little bit better at digesting fat, but overall in processed pet food, they just have a tougher time digesting these things. So the first dominating argument against feeding kibble and raw simultaneously is the different rates of digestion. Many say that both kibble and raw require different periods of digestion. It is something that I have said in the past because this is just what I know and what I had read and researched at the time. Raw meats must be pushed through the digestive tract very quickly as to not let any pathogenic bacteria, if present, take root in the ferret. That is why their digestive system is so short. Kibble could potentially impact this process. There's also some claims that kibble could interfere with the digestion of raw meaty bone, which could 
potentially pose a blockage hazard. All of that being said, as of now, we simply lack the information to confirm any of this. So this argument can't really be used at this time, though we do know that there are many factors that influence the rate and efficiency of digestion. Moisture levels, fat percent, size of the food. It's worth noting that kibble is the exact opposite in all of those things than the raw meat. Another argument against feeding kibble and raw simultaneously is stomach pH. It has been said that kibble creates a different pH level in the stomach than raw diets do. But while researching, I only really found information for dogs and cats, and many sources actually state that kibble-fed animals also have an acidic pH. So again, at this time, we can't really confirm this either. Now we move on to what is, in my opinion, the strongest argument against feeding them together, and that is leaky gut. Most kibbles contain starches and carbs which have a massive domino effect on your ferret's body. The gut microbiome is nothing to underestimate. This bacteria is responsible in protecting your ferrets against disease, they help absorb nutrients, they help maintain strong intestinal walls. If this bacteria is compromised in any way, your ferrets can seriously suffer. It will begin to attack your ferrets in the forms of allergies and disease. Kibbles that do contain carbs and starches will affect and offset the this crucial harmony of bacteria in the microbiome. These ingredients make for very, very yummy food for pathogenic bacteria as well, contributing to overpopulation and very, very sick ferrets. Preservatives, GMOs, lectins, food dyes, which are all found in many kibble, can speed up that process, resulting in holes in the gut lining, allowing for intestinal contents to flow out into the bloodstream. And we do actually have a couple studies that look at the differences of microbiome between raw fed animals and kibble fed. I have one here that says specifically the administration of a highly digestible feed combining fresh meat with readily fermentable substrates promoted a more balanced growth of bacterial communities and a positive change in some of the readouts of healthy gut functions. And in a separate study, it states that the results show that dietary fiber inclusion into a raw meat diet altered the fecal parameters assessed, and fiber is something that is not efficiently digested by the cat or the ferret. So how could this affect your ferret? Ferrets are built with a short digestive tract and intestinal transit time to protect the body from pathogenic bacteria if any are present. And that goes for both raw diets and kibble because kibble can still be contaminated by salmonella and E. coli. We know that the ingredients in kibble greatly affects this microbiome. Feeding a mixed diet may open up more opportunities for the bad bacteria to negatively affect your ferret. So now we move on to my personal thoughts on the subject. I can say in the least, anecdotally, that the ferret's body does react differently to eating raw food while on a kibble diet. Many of the ferrets that I have worked with have experienced severe vomiting episodes while being introduced to raw meat. That being said, the body could potentially learn to adjust, but I wouldn't be able to say for sure if it would be able to tolerate a mixed diet long term. I do know of a handful of ferret parents that do feed mixed diets, and I don't believe any of them have done it long term, so can't really say for sure, but some have reported to me that their ferrets have been experiencing GI upset and loose so I can't personally confirm the arguments of differing pH and digestive times, but I can say with utmost certainty that kibble does greatly alter the bacterial microbiome in your ferret's body. As someone who struggles with a chronic autoimmune disease due to leaky gut, I can say that it is some serious stuff that you do not want to underestimate. I can say that I do notice sensitivities with my raw fed ferrets when introducing anything new, a new source of chicken, um, a new breed of chicken, and it almost always triggers a little bit of tummy upset. I don't think it's entirely unwarranted to worry about how they'd handle a mixed diet long term. Finally, I wanted to bring up kind of a more controversial opinion of mine. In my opinion, any raw food addition that you add to your ferret's kibble diet will probably not create a significant health difference. And you can totally disagree with that. That's totally fine. This is just my opinion that I formed with the knowledge that I have on ferrets and processed pet foods and how it greatly impacts the ferret. I bring this up because the reason why people are doing mixed diets is because they don't want to feed raw full time. They just want to do little additions here and there to hopefully make their ferrets healthier. While it is a general agreement that 
whole food additions are helpful for humans. We don't have any human foods that are even remotely comparable to what kibble is to the ferret. Kibble is the equivalent to us eating ultra-cooked, ultra-processed food with synthetic preservatives, dyes, and ingredients that we aren't biologically able to digest for every single meal of our entire lives. We simply don't have anything to even compare to that. Let's say we did have something like that. I highly doubt that a minuscule amount of healthy food would offset any of the damaging effects that are created by kibble. And the solution would not be to feed more meat and less kibble. You could seriously offset the nutrition for your ferret because kibble is meant to be fed as is, aside from maybe some added moisture, which you should be doing. If you're not careful and you're feeding way too much raw, the diet is going to be severely unbalanced and you could really, really harm your ferrets. Even excess of nutrients can create deficiencies in the body. Now, all of that said, who knows what the future holds for ferrets. At any moment, a study could be published providing us with more information on one side of the argument. In the end, we can all agree that anything you choose to feed your ferrets is at your own risk. Like my previous videos, I do have a entire blog post that has this all written down for those of you who learn better reading uh, written material. But anyways, thank you to all of our channel members. Love having you here on the channel. If you're interested in becoming a member, link will be down below. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!